Hi guys, and welcome back to Create Your Life. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this really fun DIY chalkboard. So here's what you're going to need. For the chalkboard, you're going to have a jar of your choice, a sharpie, and masking or painting tape. But before we start the actual chalkboard, if you have any glue residue on your jar, you can remove that using pure baking soda, olive oil, a bowl, spatula, and measuring spoon. So to make this glue removal, you're going to take equal parts of both the olive oil and baking soda. So I started off by taking a tablespoon of both, but I found that it was too liquidy, so I added a little bit more baking soda. You don't want to have it too liquidy. So once I got mine to a nice thick consistency, I went and used my spatula to just put it all over my glue residue, and 15 minutes later, I went through and just kind of scrubbed it off to make sure there was no parts remaining, and went in with a wet paper towel to just wipe it all off. And I found that this was an amazing and easy way to get your glue residue off, so now we can get started. The first thing that I went through and did was measured the area in which I want my chalkboard to cover. So that was about two inches. So I measured four pieces of masking tape and then cut those and placed them where I wanted the chalkboard to be. So after I had my tape laid, I went through with the Sharpie and just covered the entire glass area with the Sharpie. You just want to continue layering on the Sharpie after it dries to make sure that it's opaque. Now I found out the hard way that you're going to want to do really small and little strokes in order to make it opaque or else it'll just kind of rub the Sharpie off. So after it was all done and finished, I went through and just removed my tape. So you're going to feel that it still feels kind of like glass, but it works great as a chalkboard. So ta-da! You can write whatever you want on it and it makes really cute labeling. So if you want to make a funky shape with your masking tape and a cool shaped chalkboard, you can go ahead and do that. But I just chose a rectangle. So if you're ever in the mood for a cool craft or you just don't want to buy a chalkboard jar, you can go ahead and make these and I found that they worked awesome. And the great thing about these is if you happen to change your mind, you can just go in with a paper towel and vinegar and wipe off the Sharpie and you're good to go. This will leave your jar looking brand new with no residue left after you scrub for a little while. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it and learned some cool tips. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up. If you want to be notified when we upload new videos every week, you can click the bottom right flower or the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. If you happen to miss the last episode of Create Your Life, there will be a link in the description box below or you can click the upper right bird. And if you happen to miss the last episode of Design Your World, you can click the bottom left bird. If you want to stay connected with us when we're not making a video, you can follow my Pinterest, which will be linked in the description box below, to get some awesome inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a fabulous week. Bye!